What? That was freaking cool. In honor of the remake, today we are reacting to and breaking down all of the aggressive medical scenes and survival injuries from the highly popular video game Resident Evil 4. This may get a little intense. Let's dive right in. Oh, right off the bat. Ouch. I don't know what type of yard tool that is. That's not your normal shovel. The likely laceration to the neck, hitting the carotid artery, hitting the jugular vein, and the potential of bleeding out fast. It just depends on which vessel is actually hit. Oh, don't throw a grenade. Oh my gosh. Explosive injuries from a grenade. There's fragments that come off the grenade plus the compressive force. Things I think about when we see this is barotrauma. You pop your eardrums, you can collapse a lung pretty easily, and any hollow organs I have hollow bones. are at risk for type of ruptures as well. Oh, <laughs> run, man, <laughs> run. I mean, I feel like they stole that from Indiana Jones. Character gets crushed. Now, crushed with a big boulder, yes. That size will probably kill you. If not, it'll actually just crush your bones or the soft tissue. So if we worry about rhabdomyolysis, muscle breakdown, high potassium, actually. When the cells break, potassium gets released into the bloodstream. Too much potassium can actually lead into cardiac arrest. <gasps> Wow. Think about being impaled with a pitchfork, worry about right into the eye, into the brain, you're dead. There are incidences where people actually get impaled in their skull, through their brain. Obviously not every single time, and if it's in a certain spot, they may not actually succumb to the injury. The world's coming at you. I've literally seen chainsaw injuries. They actually do a pretty good job of showing how the body's kind of reacting, moving, getting stuck because it's a chain. It's grabbing and ripping the tissue and it's actually thick, right? It's not like a surgical blade. The injuries that I've seen are mostly just deep into the tissue. Sometimes you can see where they get to a bone. Most of the time it's extremities. even in a game. I don't know what that is. Roman candle, dynamite, firework injuries happen, explosions happen. I've seen people's limbs get exploded off hands versus just simple lacerations. People hold it too long or knock over a fuse and everybody gets hit with them. The biggest things you worry about in these explosive injuries are the explosive tissues. Very much concerned about compartment syndrome where there's so much swelling because of the explosion that's occurring. Oh, that's a massive bear trap. That was huge. Cute. And you think about getting collapsed with rusty metal. Obviously the rust isn't the issue, but lots of bacteria and different pathogens can be on that. Besides just having laceration and trying to get out of this, you want to clean the wound out as best you can. Obviously in a different situation, you'd want to come to the hospital and get evaluated and potentially get antibiotics. What is that? There's always a bigger fish. I mean, that is the biggest crocodile monster dinosaur I've ever seen. You get bit by one of those, obviously they have razor blade sharp teeth, just like a shark would. You have to worry about not just the pathogens that are in the mouth of the creature that bites you, but whatever's in the water due to open wounds and then drowning incidents. How long could you hold your breath for underwater? Oh! mauled by wolf dog or an infected crazy zombie dog wolf. Dog's a wolf. We get animal bites come to the emergency department all the time. People are concerned about rabies. People are concerned about infection. We definitely treat with antibiotics for animal bites like this. We typically use a type of penicillin. It helps with the pathogens that are common. Here in the United States, rabies is extremely rare. If you do get bit, get to the hospital immediately, get evaluated. Oh, that's gotta be hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Fire into the face. You're gonna get all your hairs singed on your eyebrows. You're gonna get your nose hair singed. The issue ends up being, are you inhaling this into your lungs, burning your lungs, and then closing your airway? What the hell? Yeah, just shake, just shake the guy off. That's what the game tells you to do. Come on. Come on. That looked painful as hell. Some crush injuries. Question ends up being you snap the pelvis and all the ribs around and can't breathe. You get pulmonary contusions. You snap a rib and you can actually puncture a hole in your lung with your own rib and insult the injury. And then you can bleed into that space as well with the blood that's coming from the lung and the rib itself. 
Oh, rope burn. Oh, that's how you actually lose a leg. What is he thinking? What were they thinking? You got to cut every one of those pieces versus just cut the one all the way on the end. That tight, you can snap a bone with that amount of pressure. You can dislocate the ankle or the joint that's down there. You can maybe dislocate the knee if it's pulling hard enough, if you have enough force going the other direction. Wow, they're doing an arrow right to the right side, right to the jugular. No, hit the lateral aspect of the neck. The jugular is underneath your sternocleidomastoid and some of your muscles here in the front. But actually could if it was strong enough and enough force penetrate maybe into the spinal cord itself. Oh, somebody tell me what weapon that is with the, the ball and chain with the spikes on it. That's got a lot of weight behind it. You're gonna cause fracture to the jaw. A lot of times when you have a jaw fracture, fractures on one side and the energy goes out the other. So you typically have two fractures to the jaw itself. People don't realize that actually most of the time an oral max official surgeon can actually fix these in the office. Typically it's just putting wires on the teeth to actually wire your jaw shut where it's a splint in itself. Oh. Whoa. If you strangulate somebody, how quickly do they die and how do they die? You can make somebody pass out pretty easily, but if you continue to hold it, are you decreasing blood flow to the brain? Are you causing swelling to the airway? These are other factors that you have to think about. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that was sliced in half or just electrocuted, but I was pretty sure understanding the game and the movies that those actually sliced people in half and was just like a super hot laser. Oh, that's Resident Evil all day right there. All day! Actually did a really good job. We got bit in the neck, still alive, bleeding out in the neck, appropriately grabbing the area, trying to put pressure on it. But it could be so much destruction that it's so hard to stop the bleeding on your own. And then you will quickly pass out if you decrease enough blood flow. And you might actually start stroking out because of hypoperfusion to the brain. <laughs> What? That was freaking cool. A ton of puncture wounds to the body. Literally seen patients come in with multiple holes in them for multiple different reasons. It all depends on the areas that these are hitting and what it's puncturing. Major blood vessels, you're going to die quickly. Heart, you're going to die quickly. Any major chamber of the heart versus all just soft tissue. That was so cool. Resident Evil. I mean, it's evil. It's dark. It's dirty. It's bloody. Let me know different gameplay that you want to check out write it in the comments and as always if you really enjoyed this check out this playlist right here binge watch it all for me make sure you subscribe turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button thank you so much for watching and stay healthy my friends